Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Hi everyone, welcome to Chat Masala. I'm Anupama Chopra. Hi guys. Hi. Hi, hi Anu. Yeah. Hi, and, hi. And there's my wonderful colleague Bharadwaj Rangan wearing bright blue to <laughs> sort of infuse some energy into yeah. this conversation. I think there are some flowers and all in this. So just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> Nikhil and Shashi, so lovely to have you. So, so we thought we'd get two filmmakers into, into the conversation because Baddy and I have been sort of going back and forth on this whole OTT versus theatres conversation, which is just becoming more and more heated. And, uh, you know, there seems to be all sorts of kind of uh, back and forth between producers, between multiplex owners. So, wh- what is your take? You know, of course, there's major Tamil films going to Amazon. There's major Hindi films going. How are how are you all feeling about it? You want to take this, uh, Nikhil, first? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, anu uh, Rangan, like I said, I mean, I I, I think it's a it's a silly conversation, really. OTT versus. Uh, uh, cinema, cinemas are never going to go out of fashion. Cinemas are never going to be the, the not, not never not going to be the first place as a filmmaker, as a producer, or as a director that we are going to look for as a as as a avenue to show our creative work. It's always going to be that. Most of the films that are going right now, or where the deals have been made, at least I know from a personal experience, are they they are films that um, normally would not have would would, would find it difficult to. To be uh, in the running, in the competition with the big films, and in any case, we were fighting. There, there are so many fights that are always, always happening. People are changing. I mean, I have been involved in three different uh, uh, fights with very good friends and quarrels with very good friends. Saying that, are we announce first? You announce it. How can you come on my date, etc., etc. So the films that I already have are going. Would have found it difficult in any case. There is no question that the big films will go on to OTT. It's not. It's not going to happen. Shashi, what do you think? Well, I have lots to think about. I think I can write a PhD. It's, it's all that we've been thinking for the last uh, two months, actually. And, and um, Shashi has a really big film coming up. I mean, like a really big film. So yeah, uh, I agree with uh, uh, Nikhil. Like long term, I think this whatever's happening during this time, I think is good for the industry because I think there's going to be a certain polarization in terms of the kind of content that will find the right place for its consumption. I think. This is something that the entire fraternity was prepping itself towards. It should have happened in the next two years or five years where the big tentpole, star-driven, event films that, that are going to uh, find theatres as their first preference to you know, engage the larger audience and have that kind of uh, experience versus these small niche content-driven films that, that you know, is not going to get the audience out of their home, into the car, through the traffic, buy the, you know, parking ticket and then watch that. So there's going to be a kind of polarization in terms of the kind of content. And I think it's also going to, you see a, sh- a stark difference in the demography of the audience that are going to watch it. So uh, I, I think post-COVID, with the combination of the economic conditions, psychological reasons, you know, there are so many things that's going to affect the audience, right? And they'll need the right reasons to go into the theater. So I think the star driven, so it's, it's going to be good content. Again, it's not going to be just brainless cinema. I think it's going to be good content uh, by great performance and a big scale film is what is going to drive the audience. I, and I think in the long term, that's a good thing for the industry. Actually. But let me uh, ask both of you, uh, when you have, right now, are you saying that sitting on big films that without knowing that there is going to be a release date in the near future or without knowing when the, the, the dates are going to be possible, is that a financially viable uh, uh, proposition? Because uh, uh, Shashi, you have a Dhanush film coming up with uh, Karthik Subaraj's direction and Nikhil. So what do you guys uh, think about that aspect of it? Um, that is the immediate uh, uh, future. Yeah. Of the yeah, that's what I think we need to divide the conversation into the long-term effects of what's happening right now and what's going to be the change that you're going to see a year, year and a half from now versus what you're going to see in the next six months to a year. I think a lot of this is going to be um, 
a sequence of things that's going to be driven because of the economic conditions of various you know uh, stakeholders in the chain um, i think the ones who will be able to hold on to the content thinking that eventually when the theaters release they'll have a much bigger crowd will hold on to it if there is pressure in terms of returning the money borrowing all the stuff and they think ott is going to be so it's not a qualitative issue right now it's not what i was talking long term is a very qualitative kind of thing but here i think this would be more in terms of uh, survival i think people will be most of the decision making will be based on survival are you going to survive this phase to be in the industry right so we can't take everything because you know there is a certain sequence of thinking behind it but i think it will be driven more in terms of will i be the sort who can like hold on to my content and and see through this phase and then release it later so i think that's how you'll have to look at it i think this is uh, you know there's going to be pressure even ott platforms will require if you look at it already after two months of being in this lockdown situation there's not enough content you realize that everybody exhausts things very quickly so and you will have a situation that none of the none of the pr productions are going to go into flow and their pipeline is going to be cut where are the uh, where are the theatrical releases for the ott platforms to you know plug in their uh, digital uh, you know releases so they were there's there's going to be a bit of you know shifting in terms of where ott needs to go after this market even before they release they need to go after it so there's going to be you know pull and push from both ends i think nikhil you're making multiple shows for ott platforms what is your sense of the landscape so the, the 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 as far as the shows is concerned anu rangan the thing is that um, uh, of course we are con we are we are in con constant touch with them and there 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 is a certain level of worry that uh, even even uh, uh, the shows sh the, the shooting of the shows has stopped uh, where 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 we were supposed to deliver in october are we going to deliver in october are we going to deliver in december are we going to deliver in march so all that is happening right now i mean i can't talk i can't speak for amazon netflix hotstar and the other guys that we are working with but there is obviously the the content is going to run out because if you don't get on to the floors if you can't start shooting luckily for us i mean we managed to get all the editors to take the the hard drives and the and the, the equipment home and so the, the post production has been continuing um the government of maharashtra has allowed certain post production houses to work so that post production is happening but there are lots of shows that have stopped right lots of ott shows have just come to this thing and um and the the various guidelines today itself uh, i was reading a, a a policy that has that has been questioned by the iftda which is basically anybody above 65 cannot cannot work i mean some of the best directors we have in in this country are 65 and above some of the best actors that means that means amitabh bachchan can no longer can no longer work that means anil kapoor cannot work, can, cannot work sanjay dutt cannot work also that means so they obviously we have to now think of think back and understand these kind of things as far as um, uh, see i want to just go back to this whole idea of films that are coming on ott or films that are going to come to the cinemas or what in any case um, when as a producer when we when we love a subject which does not necessarily is, is like for lack of any other this thing is content driven or niche you are already thinking with the studio isko kaise release karenge how is going to be released Uh, is is it going to be an 800 film uh, screen release? Will we get go up to thousand? Where should we release it on a on a national holiday? Should we release it on on a on a weekend? Who will come? Morning show will get? Cup show will get? You know, all these questions happen, right? And I can talk from the two or three films that we are doing. Of course, we we have done an Adley, we have done a Batla, we have done Sachin, we have done Tejas. We also are doing right now a, a, a film called with Kiara called Hindu Ke Jawani. We are doing a film with uh, Arjun Kapoor, who is going through a rough patch today with his career, right? and we are doing we are doing that film also so tomorrow i mean if if an ott platform is giving me the the ability to complete that film right and and release it without the fear of how i'm going to have to release it in the larger scope scale uh, this thing of uh, larger atmosphere of competing with so many other films i'm 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 very tempted to go for it you know no that's understandable but nikhil surely a film like gulabo sitabo with ayushman khurana who's such a hot star at this moment and mr bachchan was not made for an ott platform right totally totally so i i i, I in fact was reading a uh, 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 article that that uh, was written, uh, the interview that uh, sujit did and he said that he uh, uh, because the company that he and ronnie run they don't function with multiple films 
they function from film to film to film to film in fact this is the first time they were actually doing both gulabo sitabo which was supposed to release in january and then was shifted to april it was supposed to release about 10 or 15 days just after the lockdown yeah. happened and uh, and why they they were they were doing that they were also they were shooting with udham singh right they were doing the post on udham singh so he, his his way of thinking is that ronnie told him that we have to let go of this because of our financial financial issues right or, or the way we we run the company plus i think what amazon did they did gave them a gave him a very uh, uh, attractive deal saying that it's going to be 200 theaters i mean 200 countries worldwide same day etc etc you know so i mean i think that the important thing anu i think the important thing is that we make films we collaborate and make films i think it is not my choice only as as the producer uh, at the end of the day every actor for instance like you said ayushman is a very hot star right now i think that sujit may have spoken with ayushman we have to take, take him into consideration and say this is guys i'm i'm going to do this this is a great, great what do you think and if everybody is 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 on board for it i don't see what what the reason is in terms of uh, cinema versus ott etc sure. I, i think that the whole team needs to be on, on board that's the most important thing yeah yeah shashi would, would you agree with that 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 in tamil cinema it would work the same way that the producer would would kind of take a call and then have a discussion with the actors and the director and things like that i would think so because um i don't think i mean they're doing three films right now and there are two small films that something that you know i might have like a you know a complete part in terms of making the decision but if you're working with a big director and a you know a big star you obviously have to you know you know that you know the minute i tweet something about this particular meeting danish's fans are asking about when is the update for the release update for the release you'd have seen all this unnecessary you know so everything so the kind of pressure that is there on a producer just to even update forget about release if i if i even breathe saying that i'm going to go ott you know there'll be guys outside my house asking why are you doing this so obviously i that's what i meant that all the stakeholders have to be on board for a big film obviously it's a, it's a big thing i mean the 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 director and the actor also you know give away a year of their life you know and the and the stars have to cater to their their large audience as well so there is obviously uh, we'll have to take all of them into consideration before taking that call it so when you talk about a big film shashi you it's it's you mean like a big budget film right a big star film more, more importantly a big star because you know you are obviously you got him in because of his audience and then if you're divert i mean his audience are in the theater so then you decide to you know hijack that and put it into a different platform where the, the audience is still evolving obviously it warrants a conversation at the least right i mean i don't right. think you would have just called up and done us say it's coming out on ott that's not going to you know work um so i i think i mean obviously we have a very friendly relationship with danosh and you know kartik it's much easier to have that but i would assume otherwise it it would be a difficult conversation i mean if the vijay is film which is you know supposed to release 3 weeks before us i think there's a large debate that's going on we're hearing things that that you know that's there the, for the taking as well or whatever this this there's obvious conversations that are going on so in both of both your cases uh, uh there is when you you just brought up the topic of audience shashi in both your cases it's like there is one section of the audience that has already had a uh, access to ott there was one section of the audience that is right now during this phase has kind of gotten acclimatized to ott and there is probably there's a large section that that is not that's if if that audience sees the theater, movies it will only be in theaters so when we are uh, talking about selling a movie let's take gulabo sitaba because that is an established fact now when we're talking about something like that going to ott is it going to ever reach the audiences in smaller towns and 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 places where there is no ott penetration at all or am i mistaking what where ott has penetrated and it's everywhere so i think that is a that, that, that's possibly a, um, a it depends on the deal right i mean if amazon has uh, if, if um, rising sun pictures or rising sun films has managed to strike a deal with amazon prime to say that okay you will get uh, 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 the the premium the premium will happen on ott and then possibly after two months i am allowed to do a satellite uh, release of it 
uh, then 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 it will happen i th- i think what amazon has been doing and i can speak with personal experience uh, because of conversations with vijay subramanian they uh, they like to buy the satellite as well as the digital uh, the rights of the film primarily because they want to control the gap between digital and satellite penet- uh, screening right so they will then be, they they act like some kind of a uh, aggregator and they sell the they sell the satellite rights to a satellite channel right so I, it depends but uh, whether 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 uh, i mean but it, it could also just be that no you know like a netflix film will not come a netflix original or uh, when they do put the word original to a netflix uh, film so they they may not have uh, developed it right from the beginning they may have just acquired it but they may may feel the value in saying that no listen we want to put the original tra- tag to it that will never come on satellite well uh, but uh, and also uh, to your point uh, buddy the the concept of procurement for say a theatrical release versus an ott is completely different you know you have a very specific date of release date when it's going to go off the theaters and it's a very dated kind of uh, conversation that you're going to have there is a specific window that an audience are going to see it and then if you're going to gauge by that uh, versus an ott that's never going to get dated so you so the acquisition is not based on what can i do for the next two weeks it, it could be for the next five years 10 years acquisition is is not only uh, for the film but it's also if for example uh, if any of the big ott platforms wants to make a major move into a regional market say i would think that picking up a big film is the best way to do it because you're going to drive new audience into the in, right. into the platform so you know i i see uh, there is a reason why an ott platform would go after bigger films rather than the smaller films now because it also increases subscription base for them and that that's a long term you know money earner for them rather than just the one film kind of thing imagine a big star film going and suddenly you have like 30 lakh 40 lakh new subscribers in tamil nadu you you uh, garnering close to 200 300 crores that sets them up for the next 4 5 years right so i i think the dynamics of how money and audience work is completely different on an ott platform and i there's reason why the ott needs to go after the there is a you know if the ott decides to go into the market right now with big money you can see a paradigm shift in 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 terms of the entire structure of how you know movies are consumed but i think it's not going to be the case but you know i i can see how if i had 1000 crores i would move into the market and just take it over now and you will collapse the system for another one year that there's no movies to be consumed except in your ott platform right um so so there is so there's a difference between acquisition of a content say from a theatrical distributor versus a ott platform kind of person actually okay we have some questions for you buddy did you have another question no i think nikhil oh, i just yeah ah, i nikhil just wanted to anu i just all wanted to say that i don't think a gulabo sitabo could could be uh, would would ever come if it was not ayushman just to go because ayushman is such a big star i mean today we have the we have a thriller genre we have a love story genre we have a ayushman kurana genre Correct. Right, he's a genre yeah. in itself, right? Yeah. So I don't think that, and and if Ayushman has the, I think of a considering the kind of stuff that he chooses, right? Right. I mean, from somebody who keeps sending him scripts to, and, and he he keeps rejecting them. So this is a message to Ayushman: stop rejecting my scripts. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and the, the 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 thing is that he's so secure today, right? He's so secure today as an actor in terms of what he's choosing, in terms of the directors that he's working with. and in terms of i think that it, he's so he, for him it is like wow okay and especially since this relationship is sujit the guy who gave him his first break you know he's just he's willing to he's taking that chance that leap of faith right this is what you uh, you're telling me is going to reach in, uh, to more people than than a film a film might would normally reach i'm happy let's go for it you know what i'm saying he's very secure right now an unse- insecure actor would not allow anybody to do that at this point the yeah. producer would find a lot of problem yeah yeah So guys we got some questions in from our viewers for uh, for both of you uh, Sajid Ali asks on Instagram would movies have to be differently cut for OTT would movies still have the same dance sequences interval hero entry shot all the elements which are so enjoyable in a theater because in a in an OTT that experience is completely gone uh, yeah I, i think you're asking me this because uh, because, <laughs> because we keep doing it but no um i i think that the, uh, the uh, what ott allows you to do and i think that the people who are on the other side of the table as far as ott is concerned are 
uh, our guys who are telling us that listen think go wild at, at least that's that's how we are when we are talking about our shows right uh, come to us with subjects that you would normally not want to the not be able to do anything no, but this isn't shows uh, nikhil this yeah. is movies so, so in films in films i think that see the thing is that that's what i'm saying i can't i don't even know how to answer this question because we aren't making films direct now only for ott it, it is now a platform for um, uh, for acquiring which is which where we are talking about we are, we are, no films as of yet as of now other than couple of netflix films have been made only straight for straight for digital right no film up till now has been made for which is straight straight for the, all the other films were, were were being made with the with the intent of having some kind of release but 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 is now being sent over here because there is a possibility of 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 uh, you know closing the books so to say Tashi, you should uh, take this question because yeah. the, the the format is very very big to us, right? In the terms of whatever was discussed in the question. Yeah. Um, see, there again. I think there is a specificity to how people watch stuff on OTT versus a closed environment where you already you know you're bought into the idea of watching it for two and a half hours. There's a lock-in period. when you have in a theatrical thing so it's it's left to your discretion to figure it out in terms of you know whether i would have comedy this that whatever is entertaining at the end of the day people will watch if it's entertaining and they will leave if it's not right but you if you look at the mantra of most ott platforms they they tell you that a, a person can switch off in the first minute second minute third minute every minute of the show is you are liable to be switched off right because you know it, it, it's in his convenience that he can you know it's not it's not a guarantee that somebody who watches the first 5 minutes or 10 minutes of the film is going to go on and finish the film right because he is willing to put his eggs in, in another basket as well so uh, you got to be sharper i think your attention span in in a in an ott platform is 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 going to be sharp you know you're not so there's all the the bits and pieces which are okay for a for a theatrical bits i think you will be sharper you will not you know take the chance saying that listen this might work for the c class audience so we'll have this content so there's a there's a lot of mix that happens for a theatrical kind of uh, film right the the conversation happens you know we'll have some bit of here so i think uh, you know again this is a long shot i think if like he said nikhil said that we've not had case scenarios where there are you know feature films that are original features that have been made directly to ott to still you know get the point across but i think the time is also going to come i think along with this churn i think you will see that the ott platforms will shift to trying to figure out their original features which is something then we'll have a better answer but i think it will be very specific to ott platforms but i can guarantee you that so that means i can i'm taking this opportunity i can guarantee you that in the next two months we will be sitting across tables where we will be told that okay audiences want this they like this they don't like this they want this and like like shashi said so uh, it's not when you when you talk to a platform they are not telling you about and, and this is about shows they are not telling you about how many people are watching the show they are giving you the drop off time and the drop off rate right at the 10th minute so many people dropped off at the 20th and so and literally so they have already done the research at the 10th minute this particular scene happened and as a result these many people dropped off and so this person does not work or this team does not work or they did not like this particular thing i'm sure that when they will be doing the same thing now with the films that they acquired and if they are going forward to uh, 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 basically give uh, to to start producing films direct for ott they will have their own uh, methods and they'll come up with lots of uh, research i yep. hope that doesn't happen that's not how great art ever gets made yeah but you are telling me uh, anu come on yeah look at my face no but i think that that struggle uh, anu i think is a is a good struggle i think the the strong filmmakers will hold their gun they will not do that it's a, it's it's a chance to i think reaffirm those the, the middle space will not exist so i think it's a good thing i think uh, ott platforms eventually becomes the super producers like the studios of the the old and their times right so uh uh producers will work for the 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 big uh, studios and uh, and i think i think those things are um i think you will have pure filmmakers who will say don't even touch a, a second of my thing this is the final cut and you can't do anything about it and there will be people who will collaborate with you and try and figure it out so i think those those kind of conversations have always been there whether it's ott platform or theatrical release your director will sit next to you and say 
this is what I want actually. So I I think it's good. I think it's it's good. Yeah, and it it has like like Shashi said, it has been happening. So it's not as if that when we go for discussions with studios, they all they do come up with their with their lists and their red lines on their scripts and say this works, this doesn't work. We think this works, this will not work. So we 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 have to deal with that at that point also. I know, but Nikhil, there isn't an algorithm that is so scientific either, right? The OTT platforms actually have digital data to yeah, back up yeah. the hunches. You know. Yeah. With the studio, you can still push back with with your creativity. Okay, I have one last question. Uh, Sachin on Instagram says, "How different is the marketing of a film that goes on OTT going to be versus a film that goes into theater? You know, how does this the marketing landscape change because of film distribution changes?" Well, that's the that's the that's the million dollar question with all the OTT platforms right now, which is which is what the experimentation is going on. So, uh, for the first time uh, in a long time, we saw a full page ad uh, of the front of the dailies in Tamil cinema when uh, the, the Jyotika film released, which is banned by the producer council because you know you're not allowed to spend that kind of money on publicity. So you know the 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 norms are going to be challenged. And I think people are going to find uh, ways to get into it. I mean, I think there was more money put into the campaign than a normal theatrical release would have would have had. Uh, the sheer, uh, you know, the spread of the campaign was was very visible actually. So deep pockets means deep, you know, uh, uh, you know, different ways to get to your uh, target audience. And it's a it's a it's a virgin landscape for people to go out and get there. It's not just the movie. It's also buy into their platforms. Right. So you cannot take the spin as it's it's part of the customer acquisition cost right now. So you, you'll have to look at it as not just marketing, but it's also, a you know, uh, acquisition cost for the OTD platforms. Yes, I, I think that I mean, uh, I, I totally agree because um, if you look at it from the from the point of view of the the OTT is the way they promote their shows, right? They don't they don't believe in the free marketing, which is that you know come and watch the show. They just feel that okay, the guys who are going to watch the show are going to come and watch the show, and they do a, they do a, they do two days of press junkets, which is suppo- which actually should be the case, right? So they they are they have taken that whole Hollywood model and they are they are they are, they are using it over here. Two days of press junkets, they'll have a couple of um, and they do a lot of stuff on digital. But the idea is that they do po- a lot of post-release stuff, right? Especially if the if the show is is tracking, then they do a lot of post-release stuff, like we saw in the case of Family Man, and it 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 went quite pretty crazy uh, in terms of Manoj being all over the place and uh, Raj D K being everywhere because the show was doing very well, the show was being appreciated. But I'm I agree with what Shashi is saying because this is because for the first time they are going to have to show. The OTT platforms are going to have to show the producers, or that this is the promise that we made you that 200 or 200 the countries is going to be releasing. So many more people are going to be watching it, and so and 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 because they have deep pockets and their hands are not tied with the rules that we we normally have to work with, no hoardings, no full page ads, etc. etc. Um, they might just be it it it, 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 it could be quite interesting to see what they do with Golabo Sitago. So actually, the the viewer gains either way. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I think that's that's the that's the best thing about this is that content uh, consumption is going to be more specific. I mean, there was a difference. Uh, see, there's a restaurant giving you home delivery is different from Swiggy coming on an app and doing this. There's a specificity to how that same content is consumed at your place. There's the delivery mechanism is different. They are in you are in their ecosystem. They're able to uh, you know bring you in whenever they want. So the, the efficiency of the delivery of the OTT platforms is, is, is what is going to change the landscape. It's, it's just not, we've always had, you know, ways of bringing content into our homes, but the efficiency at which it's going to be delivered is, is what is going to change, not, not anything else. Actually. Well, sounds exciting and interesting. These are interesting times. Barry, anything, any more questions from your end? No, I, I, I'm just like, like dazed actually right now because I'm, I'm unable to and I'm unable to make up my mind whether it's a good thing or a bad thing because yes as Shashi says in terms of sheer consumption I think it's good that the audience has a choice but but I'm also like when we're talking about you know the, the very few authors that we have the filmmakers who structure their films in a certain way uh, and all that if somebody's watching those films at a 1.5 speed or uh, you know deciding to take a break at a, at a thing uh, the, the 
I don't know. I, I'm I'm feeling that cinema will become less like cinema and and more like something you just consume. Uh, I mean, I don't want to sound make it sound very like lofty, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? It's going to be very different from watching a like a very specific director's quirks on a big screen where you're stuck versus somebody saying the scene is boring let's fast forward through it and go through the next one so it's going to change a lot of things and i'm i'm actually a little dazed so <laughs> don't don't worry baddy there's going to be a new normal don't worry you'll you'll have fun with your your stuff as well like all right thank you my stuff <laughs> thanks nikhil that was like <laughs> <laughs> well, we we listen. We we have to all be optimistic about this. Okay, we have to believe that there will be the new normal will include both. That there'll be some version of theaters because we can't live without theaters. I mean, that's mm. not that's not a future I'm willing to contemplate. But remember, Anu, we are also talking about like when theaters open, there's going to be no air conditioning. Uh, there's going to be like reduced seating and stuff like that. And I think right down the the consumption chain. I, things like air conditioning have been taken for granted right now yeah. i mean like that's the one of the many so to kind of uh, especially in a state like tamil nadu which is very very hot uh, like for 11 months of the year so when you're telling people that we're going to let you into a theater but there's not going to be any ac and stuff like that there are also that's things like that are also going to affect people yeah. saying that's a deal breaker I'm, almost yeah no yeah. but, but buddy buddy i'm going to give you a good scenario to end this thing actually the the biggest problem in theatrical uh, release for regional cinema has been the excess supply of content we right. produce close to 200 films yeah, in a year right so the the problem in theater uh, experience has been primarily because there's been oversupply and this is going to be a scenario where if you remove 40 30 40% of that content going to theaters and then divert them into ott your experience the demand for going and watching good cinema in theaters is going to increase this is going to be win win in the long run it, you know all this is we're talking in the short term but i think in the long term i think there's going to be demand for that kind of experience it's not going to replace going to a restaurant and having food right that social occasion where you want to do this so whatever may be the efficiency of the swiggy delivery right but you, it cannot take away that experience of watching a film in a theater so but what is killing is too much supply right now and this is going to ease the pressure on the thing so you're going to have longer show timing for you know movies so you're going to have bigger windows for films to work give it more space to breathe and actually work with the audience so this is going to be good in the long term we yeah. just have yeah. to get through this year first actually okay we we're, we're going to we're going to go with that because that's a happy thing yeah yes yes very optimistic about <laughs> positive <laughs> Yeah. We have to believe. Thank yes. you, Nikhil. Thank you so much, Shashi. Thank you thanks, so much. Guys. Thanks, Robert guys. Thank you so much. Thanks yeah. for having yeah. us, uh, yeah. guys. Thank you. Bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye. bye.